Hello children, let me welcome you to the virtual class of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher. Children, we are in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic and because of that we are not able to go to school but that doesn't mean we are going to stop learning. So we are going to do many lessons which are very interesting from your textbook through the virtual class here. So let us do a lesson in English today. So children, we will do a lesson in standard 8th English today and look at your screen. What can you see there? This is something which is very familiar, isn't it? We have seen this and spoken about this many a times. So what is this children? This is a beehive and then there is a bee also near the beehive. So what is this lesson about? Yes, this lesson is about honeybees and the name of the lesson is Lesson number 4.3, the bees. Now children, these bees are supposed to be the most organized, the most disciplined and the most hard working of all creatures in the animal kingdom. Okay, you know that they all live in a hive and they work together in order to collect honey and then they have no fights among themselves. They have a queen bee, they have officer bees and they have worker bees. So there is never a situation where we have seen that the workers are revolting or going against the queen bees or the officer bees. Okay, so the beehive is said it is like a world of its own. Alright, so let us talk about this lesson now and when we are talking about this lesson we are going to learn a little bit more about the life of bees in this particular lesson. So what do you think children? Will the bees be having a very wonderful and a very happy life? No, they have a very hard working life. They have to work day and night in order to gather honey. And then also there could be other problems also in their lives. So we will see what problems could be there in the life of bees here in this particular poem. Poem number 4.3 from your textbook, The Bees. Now this poem children, it is written by... A very famous English poet, William Shakespeare. We will talk about him later. Let us talk about a few warming up exercises here. Now, so let us try to match certain professions and the field of work. Now, just now I told you, na, in the beehive, there are people, uh, there are bees ranked from different ranks or categories. That is, there is a queen bee in every beehive. She is a queen of the hive. And then there are people who are below the queen. And they manage, they are the people who are in control of, they are the officers or they are the administrators of that particular hive. Then you have bees who are soldiers also. Okay, so all the bees in the beehive, each bee in the beehive has got his or her own work to do. They follow a particular work, they do a particular job. So just like the bees have got their work divided, we human beings also belong to various professions. So here we have a list of professions and what these people do. Okay, so let us please try to match these two now. So see, profession could be, a person could be a chief minister, he could be a magistrate, a soldier, a trader, builder, driver, teacher. These could be the, you can say, description of what a person does. Or this could be the name of the post that he holds. Now what kind of work does he do? So he could be doing business, transport, construction, administration, education, defense, law. So come on let's try and match these two. now. So what does a chief minister do? So the chief minister is in charge of a state. Alright, so what does the chief minister do? He does the work of administration. That is he looks after the working of the entire state he manages the affairs of the entire state along with his ministers what about a magistrate so where are you uh, likely to find a magistrate working you will see a magistrate in a court of law so the magistrate deals with a law with understanding law with uh, trying to make judgments giving judgments in case there are some kind of issues between people okay so, a magistrate deals with law. He works in the field of law. What about a soldier? 
we all know that a soldier is responsible for the defense of any country so a soldier looks after the defense he works for the army he works for the navy the air uh, the air force sometimes he works on the border security force so whatever he does what does a soldier do the soldier defends the country against external aggressions what about a trader what does a trader do he simply does business okay and when we say business there are so many things that a trader can do he can sell things he can buy things he can manufacture things he can export things okay then you have a builder so what does the builder do the builder is in the field of construction so a builder builds buildings hospitals roads etc all this work is done by the builder driver of course you know works in the field of transportation so the driver could be a bus driver truck driver it depends finally you have a teacher so what does a teacher do the teacher takes you forward in the field of education she teaches you she gives you more knowledge in the field of education okay so here we have matched the professions with the field of work now let us go a little further and let us talk about certain you can say sayings or certain comparisons which are made between animals and human beings sometimes there are certain creatures or animals who have certain special characteristics okay when you talk about a particular animal immediately that particular characteristic comes into your head for example you say a cheetah when i say a cheetah a cheetah can run very fast you must be knowing a cheetah is a fast animal okay or when i say uh, an elephant an elephant is really big huge so when there is someone who runs very fast we compare him directly or indirectly to the cheetah so here is a list of 10 animals and some of their qualities so these qualities can apply to some other animals also okay for example if the elephant is huge the extinct animal the dinosaur was also huge but nowadays we do not have dinosaurs so when you say huge or big we usually say elephant okay a whale is huge a whale is big all right so like i said the characteristic can apply to one or more than one animals also as the case may be so let us start with the first one as dash as a lark so as merry as a lark now the lark is a kind of a bird which is singing all the time you will see a lark singing away so who is the person who keeps on singing it is a person who is very happy with life okay so someone who keeps on singing we say he is as merry as a lark then you have as slow as a snail now we all know this the snail is an animal which carries its shell on its body and it is very very slow as slow as a snail what about a giraffe what do you think is the quality of a giraffe a giraffe is very tall so if someone is extremely tall you say he is as tall as a giraffe so you can imagine what kind of height that person might be having as dash as a bee as busy as a bee so bees you know they have their work i told you they are a very organized kind of animal and they have their own duties and they continuously keep on doing their duties they are very disciplined also as dash as an elephant we just discussed as big as an elephant or as huge as an elephant and then you have as dash as a mouse as quiet as a mouse a mouse is very quiet it quietly comes and it goes okay you will not see it making a lot of noise so as quiet as a mouse as dash as an eel what is an eel children an eel is a water animal it is a kind of a fish which lives in water and it is very very slippery so if someone is you are never able to catch someone catch in the sense not physically but if you are calling someone and that person is always slipping away from you he is not doing the work you are which you are asking him to do then you say that that person is as slippery as an eel that is you will never be able to uh, hold him you will never be able to make him do something as dash as a fox as sly foxes are very sly what is the meaning of sly here sly means very cunning okay as cunning or sly as a fox as dash as a worm what is a worm 
a worm means a kida as humble as a worm so worm is something which you will find on in the mud below your feet so it is supposed to be very humble not at all proud as dash as a deer as fast as a deer i told you we can sometimes attribute one quality to more than one animal so if the cheetah is fast the deer is also fast all right so these are some comparisons which we can make between living creatures that is it could be birds it could be animals it could be insects because of their special quality and if a human being also has these qualities then you can use these particular phrases there now let us come to the main part of our lesson that is we will go into reading the poem and trying to understand what william shakespeare wants to tell us about the bees through this particular poem before that we will talk a little bit about william shakespeare now you have been learning different poems by the same poet for example last year when you were in standard 7th you learned the poem under the green wood tree where william shakespeare had a lot of things to say about nature and about life in nature so this is another poem related to nature and it is about a wonderful creature from nature that is bees so let us talk a little bit about william shakespeare now he was born on the 26th of april 1564 and he passed away on the 23rd of april 1616 he was an english playwright poet and actor and he is regarded as the greatest writer in the english language and he is also called as the world's greatest dramatist okay that means he used to not only write poems he used to write plays also and he used to act also in those plays now we are talking about the 14th and the 15th century here children that time there were no motion pictures there was no cinema okay so plays and dramas were a kind of entertainment for a people and this person here he used to write beautiful plays many of his plays we get to learn also as part of our english textbooks he used to also act in the plays okay and he was also called as a great dramatist he is often called as england's national poet and the bard of avon or simply the bard now avon why because he was in, born in a place called avon in england So this is about the very very famous English poet there is no one who must not have learnt english and heard about not heard about william shakespeare so if you have learnt any english you will have definitely heard about william shakespeare so let us go now and let us look at this particular poem about bees i'm going to mark the line which i'm reading and there are certain words which are given in a different color we are going to discuss their meanings also so work the honey bees creatures that by a rule in nature teach so this is the way that honey bees work they follow a particular rule which nature has taught them the art of order to a peopled kingdom so we should learn people human beings peopled kingdom here means a place which is inhabited peopled okay people means human beings you and me and a place which is peopled means there are people living there so honey bees are the people from whom we should learn how to live in order how to maintain order how to live an orderly life how to have discipline in our lives so all this if you want to learn you should look at or turn to the honey bee they have a king and officers of sorts officers of sorts means different kinds or different types or levels of officers so they have a person who is a king among them or queen we say we always say queen bee we seldom say king bee okay so they have a king or they have a ruler you can say and officers of sorts where some like magistrates correct at home so what do what do magistrates do magistrates deal with law we just saw magistrates are the people who deal with law so in case there is a wrong which someone has done the magistrate will always try to set it right by uh, giving some kind of levying some kind of fine on that person or sending that person to prison in order to correct his behavior etc so some are magistrates who do the work of correcting people reforming people trying to change 
the mentality of people others like merchants venture trade abroad so merchants merchants here means traders businessmen what do these merchants or traders or businessmen do they venture trade abroad that means they undertake trade abroad trade means a business abroad buying and selling okay or in this case collecting honey so abroad means what do they go to a foreign country no they just go outside the honey bee hive so the bee hive is the world of the bees it is a place where the bees live so it is these merchant bees who go abroad means they go outside the bee hive others like soldiers armed in their stings now you know that bees have this sting okay sting means a pointed needle like thing at the front of their face and they sting really badly if in case a bee stings you that part of your body will ache for at least a day because it leaves out some kind of mild poison there are some bees which are supposed to be poisonous also it will do more harm to you so there are some bees which are kings there are some which are officers some of them are magistrates some of them are merchants and then there are other soldier bees ordinary soldier bees okay worker bees they carry their stings with them now the stings are a kind of a proboscis we say it is a kind of a uh, you can say a straw with which they suck honey also from the nectar from the plants okay so there are these soldier bees who do their duty of carrying their stings and then what do they do make a boot upon the summer's velvet buds so in summer when you have those beautiful buds and flowers on the plants it is the soldier bees that go with their stings and make boot upon what do they do they make boot upon means they start collecting they start the work of gathering what the nectar which is pleasant present in the buds which is present in the velvet buds velvet means these are uh, buds these are uh, uh, flowers they have beautiful colors isn't it so they are called as velvet buds which pillage they with merry march bring home so they go with their stings and they sit upon these uh, buds and flowers they collect all this honey and they bring it back home and they pillage it pillage here means stealing something or thieving something is called as pillaging because the nectar is not supposed to be there for the bees isn't it it is supposed to be there for the use of the plant or the bud or the flower but the bees go and anyways get the nectar so that is why we say that they pillage the nectar so can you see how busy the life of the bees are but that is not all some of them can get punished also for their wrong doings let's see in the next part of the poem to the tent royal of their emperor so the king who is there they take all this nectar which they have collected using their stings to the royal tent of their emperor who busied in his majesty surveys now he is busy he is the king so he doesn't have a lot of time so he is busy what is he doing he is surveying surveying means what here surveying means he is looking after or supervising or studying the singing masons building roofs of gold so now here see this is the next category of bees we had the soldiers who used to leave the hive go out with their stings and collect the nectar and bring and deposit it inside the hive and then who is the person who is overlooking them or who's the person who's studying them or supervising them it is the king so now he is also supervising the masons who build the roofs of gold now honey is golden in color isn't it so the masons there are mason bees also who are masons children masons are people who do construction work okay so there are bees who are masons also mason here means people who do the work of building the hive so there are a section of bees who are mason bees so they neither do the work of a magistrate nor do they go out to collect honey like the soldier bees do they just do the work of building the hive the civil citizens 
kneading upon the honey so now someone comes and collects the honey these people they gather the honey and they deposit it in the hive so now there are some citizen bees okay what do these citizen bees do they knead upon the honey that is they properly mix the honey because this honey has to be stored for a long time isn't it so it is necessary that they mix it so see the next category of bees is the civil citizens that is the bees who are the citizens of the hive then you have the poor mechanic porters crowding in porters means people who carry loads the coolies okay their heavy burdens at this narrow gate so now you have these mechanics also the poor mechanic porter bees so the bees who carry the load from one uh, place in the hive to another place all right the sad eyed justice with his surly hum now there is a justice also along with the magistrate okay and he's got a surly hum you know the bees they hum they make this mm kind of sound which is called as a hum so he has got a surly surly means very rude hum okay he is very very rude he is very very rough and tough to talk to delivering over to executors pale so now there are some executor bees also executor bees means bees who are there who do the work of execution execution means killing people so sometimes people who do very big crimes very grave crimes they are not sent to jail but they are executed they are hanged okay so these people who do the work of hanging people they are called as executioners so there are sometimes the judges who send certain bees who are very big criminals to the executors now the executors are very pale because they are sad that they have to kill other bees the lazing lazy yawning drone okay now the drone can have two meanings children the drone means the constant sound is also called the drone so the sound which is made by the bee is called as a drone and may a drone can also be a male bee so see this is all the difficult work that the bees have to do so the life of bees is not very simple as we thought it is okay the bees have to live a very very extremely difficult life where they have so much work to do and all this work is divided amongst them and in case one of them doesn't do their work properly then there is also the justice who will be rude and who will send him to the executioner so this is how william shakespeare has described the life of these bees which live in the beehive and he has also tried to bring out the different roles they play during the course of this life all right so this was the poem children now we will try and do a few exercises quickly here before we wind up and then we will put i'll put up another video because there is a lot of uh, exercises in figures of speech and syllable stress etc in this lesson which we will take up separately when we meet next time so come on let's start by doing an exercise here so this is the first exercise in the english workshop part honey bees they live an organized life like human beings in fact we can say that their life is more organized than human beings so discuss what work the following honey bees do as per the poem write it down in your own words in your notebook so i will be just giving you some clue words here you will have to write the description in your notebook okay so these are the different kind of bees that we have here we have the king or the emperor or the queen bee you have the magistrate bee you have the merchant bees the soldier bees the mason bees civilian bees civilian means ordinary citizens like you and me then you have the porter bees and then you have a judge bee so let us see what work these bees do so i will try and describe their work in just a few words okay you will have to elaborate it that is your homework or your assignment so what does a king bee do children he surveys the work of the other bees so he is like the boss he looks after the work or he looks and tries to keep an eye on the work of all the other bees who are working under him then you have the magistrate bee what does a magistrate bee do he corrects the bees at home so in case 
there are certain bees who are making certain mistakes in the way they are working or functioning. The magistrate bees will correct these bees. Then you have the merchant bees or the businessman bees or the trader bee as we say. What do they do? They venture abroad. Abroad means they go outside the hives to carry on trade. Okay. Then you have the soldier bees who are armed. Armed with what? Stings. Alright. Just like the soldiers who fight in the army are armed with guns. In the same way the soldier bees in the beehive are armed with stings and they collect honey. What about the mason bees children? The mason bees build roofs of gold. Alright, is it actual gold? No, it is made up of a kind of wax which is we call as bees wax. Then you have a lot of civilian bees or citizen bees. And what do these people do? The citizen bees or the civilian bees? They knead or mix the honey. What about porter bees? Porter bees carry heavy burdens. Finally, the judge bee, he gives death sentences to drone bees. To bees who are not doing their work properly, they are given death sentences by the judge bee. Alright, so this was the first exercise from the English workshop part. Now I will do just one more exercise with you and then we will wind up this particular video for now. So in the second part of your English workshop, you are supposed to complete by the sentences using appropriate options. So human beings can learn from honeybees. How can they learn from honeybees? Do they learn how to make food? Or do they learn how to live joyfully? Or do they learn how to lead an organized nation? Yes, just like the bees lead an organized hive, in the same way we can learn how to lead an organized nation. We can start at the home level. How to run an organized home and then further progress and we can learn how to lead an organized nation, a disciplined nation where everything is in order and there is no chaos at all. The soldier bees carry home. What do they carry home? Do they carry home the velvet buds or do they carry home the nectar which is looted from the flowers or their weapons? So they carry home the nectar which is looted from the flowers. Now children the spelling of nectar here in the question is slightly misprinted. Okay, This is a picture of your textbook but the correct spelling I have given you when I have written the answer. It is N-E-C-T-A-R nectar. Alright, then you have the emperor bee supervises the building of what? Does he supervise the building of the beehive or the bridges or a tower? Yes, he supervises the building of the beehive. Okay, those golden roofs that is the beehives. The next one, the dash bees make honey from nectar. So are, the, are those the officer bees or the civil citizens? bees or the magistrates the civilian citizen bees they make nectar honey from the nectar by mixing kneading the honey properly and the last one the drone is given a death sentence why is he given a death sentence because he attacked the emperor because he killed other bees or he doesn't do any work he is given the death sentence because he does not do any work so see how seriously they take their work. If they're not, if you're not doing your work properly, you can be also given a death sentence. So don't you think we should learn a lot from these bees? Because if we learn to live a disciplined like, like life like them, then our nation will also become a very progress and developed nation. Now there are a few more exercises, children, as I told you, remaining in this lesson. We will do it when we meet next time and when I put up the next video. So that is all for today. So children, wasn't that a very interesting lesson? I'm sure you learned a lot of new things in this lesson. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my video so that you will get to see all the videos which I keep posting regularly.